With coronavirus infections soaring and hospitals overwhelmed, Uganda has reimposed a lockdown on movement through July. Transport is banned and only essential workers are allowed into the city. While the aim is to save lives, making a living is once again a struggle for traders like Sauda Namaga, one of many forced to sleep in the market. She wants Uganda's president, Yoram Seveni, to ease the restrictions. We are selling rotten produce, all the bananas, as you can see. We don't have buyers, so we are asking the president, and those who talk to him should tell him to relax the orders. Those who are able to walk to town should be allowed to come and buy. The situation is even worse for shops not selling food, which Ugandan authorities ordered closed. Ugandan police are being deployed to enforce the commands. Area chairman Bashir Mwonge says without help, many shops won't survive. If you keep imposing a lockdown, what do you think is going to happen? This means the country's economy is falling because there's no work being done. We have been appealing to the president to help by suspending rent payments. The economy is crashing because people can no longer maintain their businesses, even when you reopen. Ugandans living in the countryside are forced to walk for hours to get to town. Lydia Nambogo walked more than five kilometers to withdraw money from her savings to feed her family, but the bank office was closed. I've been selling takeaway food, and I've been earning little money to take care of my family. But we've been locked down, and we don't know what's coming next. The government isn't going to give us food again. They should at least give us some of our little savings. With Uganda's first lockdown in March 2020, the government gave flour and beans to the urban poor, which many hope will be repeated. We are going to use a simple me some simple means of delivering support to you. And the vulnerable people are known. Meanwhile, many Ugandans can only wait for this latest wave of COVID-19 infections to recede while doing their best to keep their heads above water. Halima Othmani for VA News, Kampala, Uganda.